I am Sir TapTap, and we last left off. The King of the Shades was just lonely, but we still kind of killed him. Don't. I don't really feel too great about that, but it's what we had to do, so. This whole little nightmare world here, we're just going to kind of leave in place. It's, it's, it's seen better days, but hey. The one unclear thing is, was he the guardian of the zone? I don't think he was. The guardian's text was purple, his was blue. So... And there was that ghost thing, so that's... That was that. I think that's just the door we went to before. I think this door's locked before. It locked, okay. Let's go up one more. Oh, that's where we came from. It is. Interesting. So, we still have to find and defeat the guardian of this zone. I think she said there was something about two nightmares. Ah. Green door. I see. Froge world. I love in the new Animal Crossing. Oh, froges! Uh, in the new Animal Crossing, when you catch a frog, uh, it says, I caught a frog. That or it's a new neighbor, and I have some explaining to do. Oh, you're a newcomer. You shouldn't be here. Why is he, like, kawaii? Why, why does he look like that? He, he's like, Umu, you shouldn't be here. Whoa! That <laughs> big boy. I'm gonna scan it real quick. You, you, you know the drill. I'm a big sucker for enemy names and stuff. Worm. Gelatinous burrowing ghoul. We are so OP. But hey, hardly a bad thing. For a Let's Play, I, I would say, I mean, people want you to play it, you know, as the game was intended and all that, but I would say losing 50 times to the same boss and, you know, going really slow or worse like showing the grinding on stream that's all that i've never been one for that what are you now stranger you should get out of these lands honestly most uh, most let's plays even if you didn't even realize especially most like popular ones um the, the person has played the game like multiple times before and they know all where to go that or people will play like a segment they'll play up to a certain point and then they'll record themselves starting over again and know exactly where to go because you know you don't want to repeat stuff, or you don't want to, you know, get lost in stuff. It's awkward to do that on camera. Which, sometimes I've had to do that on camera. But, um, I've never been one to just, like, oh, play ahead, or, like, edit, or, like, do post-commentary. What was that? Yeah, I usually just do it blind, and I know that's not always the best way to do it. But, uh, I fe it feels more genuine, and it's just generally... I don't usually have time to play a game twice just to do one video, right? So, so you get what you get. You should be careful what you're wandering around here. And with a game like this, it doesn't matter. It really depends on the game. If this was like a super action-y like, platformer and you need to be really good, um, I would probably play the game on my own first. Um, for an RPG like this, it is very often just the case of grinding off stream. And we can get some clumsy stuff like, like that one puzzle. But... Uh, why do the frogs look at me like that? <laughs> They're like giving me umus. I don't like it. You should be careful wandering around here. It's pretty scary monsters lurking in the swamp. What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> Could you stop giving me encounters for five minutes? Blister snakes. Amore. That's amore. Uh, deep water dwelling ghoul. And the nice thing is I can just put it on auto so I can talk while we do battles. There's a definite upside of grinding. One of the awkward things when you're doing a let's play is just... When you're talking, obviously a lot of your portion of your brain goes to talking and thinking about what you're gonna say. And that portion of your brain cannot go to the game. So you either need to know the game so well you can do it on muscle memory, which is generally how um, speedrunners do things, or you might just do badly because you're stream, you know, you're doing a recording or streaming. Oh no, puzzles. This reminds me of the frog dissection. So we never dissected frogs. We dissected fetal pigs when I was in in school, because pigs are the most similar to humans, 
and uh, uh, breaking through the sternum was... I'll never forget that. That was unpleasant. Uh, the monsters are trying to run, ruin these sacred grounds. The concept of sacred grounds in an off game is weird to me. Especially with this area that's like totally outside of the original game. I guess this is just a nightmare just like that last place was. He was just trying to relate to do. And or spook the heck out of me. I'm not entirely sure which. But he didn't seem like a bad guy. I don't I don't feel too good about that. I will say the animations, I've, I've, I've talked about the, the, the art style of the enemies, maybe not completely like um, Mortis Ghosts. The, the animations, I would say, are very much like the original game's animations. They're, very, they're a very good fit. Froge! Big Froge. Oh, that's so frustrating. The, it's just the thing. You can't feel it. It's not, if you, you can't feel it. It's not upsetting you, I'm sure, but when I when you press a button and the thing doesn't do the thing that you press the button for, that is one of the worst feelings. It's just like <sighs> mutated amphibious henchman. Croaker sounds like a um, Silent Hill boss or like enemy. Have you ever noticed that in horror games, usually things are just named like verb or groaners, climbers. Screamers, bloaters, stuff like that. It's just, they're named after what they do, I suppose, which... If you don't have time to make like a fancy boy name for things, it does make sense. It's one of those things you think about when you consume enough of a media, you start to see the, um... The, um... The tropes and stuff. I... Speaking of grinding, I mean... Regular enemies seem more threatening than the, um... To the bosses, honestly, at least at this level. I mean, I am putting it on auto and, you know, being a dumbass, but, um... What's the... That's the poison one. Fin finally, we used these Melosha's meat we've had this whole the whole game. I may as well use those. And before we find a um, save block almost immediately after. What's the... Oh, no... Oh jeez, Rick! Oh jeez, Ribbit! I turned myself into a frog, Morty. I'm Frog Rick. I don't think I don't think we should do this again, Rick. I'm just gonna run. I don't like I don't like random encounters while I'm I'm trying to do a puzzle, Rick. Okay. Okay. I have no idea how you're supposed to figure that out, but I I brute forced it. So a little extra free grinding, I guess. Whatever. Weird. It wouldn't have been that bad just to brute force if not for that random encounters. It still wasn't that bad. But if there was if there was a trick to that, I did not see it. Monster trying to ruin the area to talk to you. Just heads the king's place, but palace. But no one's allowed inside without his consent. Down this path is a different village. Not just us frogs live there. What? Oh, hello, strangers. So this place isn't real, which is why there's frog people, and now there's Elsons, I guess. As long as we are good, nothing bad will happen to us, right? Haha. <laughs> Huh, is that a frog mech? Hey, who are you? No outside is allowed here without proper authorization. And blow it out of your ass. These ores are used to make weapons for the king's army. What? Let's take some Chrono Trigger stuff. Two jokers have been found. How's my HP? Eh. Should probably heal that. There you go. I do be needing lots of luck tickets, though. Oh. 
Can't go into the swamp. Alright. Well, I don't want to go up to the king's palace without consent. That would be rude. Health points combat's completely restored. Um, I'm not entirely sure how long this video is going to end up being. I think it was 10 minutes plus this. Let's finish this village and we'll call it a video. Feel free to look around. Just don't cause any ruckus or guards will severely hurt you. Why are they just... The, the, the guards are like frogs in a like human meat mechs. I don't like it. What's up? But it feels strangely cold today. Just an indoor swimming pool. These rich, these bougie frogs. You better stay out of trouble or you'll be seeing the king. Okay. The king had a change of heart recently. He's grown cold. King sent out his most vile henchmen to roam the swamp plants. The only safe place is our village. I fear that won't last long. So the king went bad. Music's a little quiet here. It's kind of drowned out with the frog chorus. I do not like this new king. He showed up out of nowhere and is tearing this place apart. So this is probably another nightmare boss, not the, the zone boss yet, even. The zone is pretty long. I think I think this will end up being longer than off. I was like, oh, geez, this is a big game. It might be half as long as off. I think this will end up being longer than my off playthrough. I'm sorry. I can't really talk right now. There's a lot more NPCs and stuff in this, I suppose. A piece of Abdon's meat has been found. I really need to learn RPG Maker, kind of poke around and do stuff in it. Might not be so great. Creepy. But, uh, I'm gonna try something. Just up ahead is a blacksmith. Wouldn't bother him, though. He's working on important projects. Hope you enjoy your stay at a swamp. He's been surprisingly late, considering, well, no, I shouldn't say anything. What have the villagers been telling you? You better not be keeping any secrets from us. He-Man? Do not be keeping secrets, He-Man. It locked. Oh, there's a... There's a door there. Huh. I guess that's kind of a pathway. It's locked anyway, so we can't go in. Do you think things will get better? I fear they may not. The once calm winds have become harsh and better. Planning on getting out of this place. You should too. Another one of these uh, didn't quite fit in the window situations. All right, this RPG maker is probably too old to automatically handle that. I feel a dark omen approaching. You must get out of here and fast. That's one of the worst things for like localization, by the way, is like getting all of the text to fit in the box when it's not automatically handle handled. It's interesting they bother like making paths to like indicate that you can go to a door here, but then it's just locked. Um, all right. So next time we're going to go see the frog king. I'm, I'm excited. Are you excited? So there's a little, what is that? It doesn't show up on the, on the screen, but there's a little, the left, the, the, the boundary box is like red and white pixels for some reason. Huh? Like the RPG, there's like a weird border that RPG maker has on the window and it's all like weird colors i don't know what the deal is with that but that doesn't matter um remember to like subscribe leave comments the spookums thing's here too huh well i will see you next episode and we'll talk to the frog king